Just finished installing this aerial mount. Just got an aerial there as a mock-up. Haven't hooked it up. Um, attaches to that little panel area in front of your mirror. These are powder-coated stainless steel. They look really nice. Designed to match the curves of the car. And the gaps are really nice as well. There you go. Okay, we've got a 200 series here today and we're gonna go through and install um, this aerial mount that mounts just in front of the mirror. Really cool place to have an aerial. So we'll go through and show you how to install this bracket. So the first thing you wanna do is remove this little trim here. Um, grab yourself a little pry tool. Normally I grab a little plastic one, but this one here um, just wraps a bit of plastic, a little uh, bit of tape around it. So there's two clips, one here and one here. I find if you if you carefully run the tool underneath and pull it up gently, it's this one over here that's a bit harder to do. Just pull it off, and the other top one comes off pretty easily. So just take that off. Okay, now that we got that cover off, um, the actual bracket mounts onto this position, and we need to drill out and install a nut set in this position. So I'll go ahead and remove this bolt and then I'll show you how to install the nut set into this hole here. It requires a little bit of drilling, but it's not too difficult. Okay, I've actually taped this up a bit just in case uh, anything might happen when you're drilling it or you slip. And we can always easily take that off after we finish installing it. Okay, so we need to drill out that hole to nine and a half millimeters. Um, that's to install this M6 nut set. So carefully drill that hole out to nine and a half millimeters. Just be careful, it's nice and thin. So. And we're through. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go find some paint and we're gonna touch that up so it stops rusting. I just happen to have some three-in-one silver zinc anti-rust paint. Matches the colour of this car quite nicely. So we'll go ahead and um, put some paint on that hole that we just drilled out just to stop it from rusting. Okay, I've got a cotton bud, just put a bit of paint on that and we're just going to go around and give that a nice thick coat of paint all the way inside. Let that dry and then we'll show you how to install the nut set. Ideally, you'd have a nut set gun, but I've got a way to do it without using a nut set gun. Now we are ready to install the M6 nut set. So ideally uh, we'd do this with a nut set gun or a nut set tool, make it a lot easier. But if you don't have one of those, we've come up with a way to do it without the tools. So in the kit you'll get an M6 socket head cap screw, an M8 serrated nut, flange serrated nut. And what you do, grab the M6 bolt, put the nut over the top of it, with the serrations facing down and then you, what you want to do is you want to tighten this up with the nut set, install the nut set and what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure the serrations dig into the front face of that nut set to stop it from turning and what I like to do before I even install it is to, I like to start setting the nut set before I put it in. So grab your 13mm socket to stop that nut from turning, stop the the nut set from spinning while you're tightening. And I'd like to just pre-set it. So just start winding it. The nut, sh nut set shouldn't turn. And you'll just feel it and it'll just as it starts to collapse and bulge up a little bit. And just see it there. That's good. So it's starting to set, but don't, don't go too far or else you won't get it back into the hole. So that's got a little bulge. I don't know if you can see it, but that means the nut set's starting, starting to set itself. So once that's happened, put it in the hole. Span it in there to stop the nut from turning. And then start tightening on the socket head cap screw. You'll feel it pulling up. And once you feel that this nut set's set properly, we can undo it all. So I'll just keep on going here. Okay, I can start feeling. I can start feeling the nuts are straightening up. Yeah, it's feeling really good there. Oops, that's why we got the masking tape there, just in case you slip. And that's really good there, nice and tight. So what we do now? Take the spanner out. 
and undo. Undo the M6 bolt, and there you go. We got a nut set in that hole, nice and secure. Now we'll remove this bolt, and that will make our two mounting points. Now, the bracket here will sit in place, but it needs two spaces. So we supply these two spaces in here. The big, big end down the bottom, it's a bit of like a kidney. And we've got the two M6 bolts here. Our place looks this way. So one, two, two spaces. And then attach it to the vehicle. Just like that. I'll just go get our own wrench. Just snug it up. Just adjust so the gaps are nice and even. Just it there. Okay, looks really good. Just move this one up a bit. Beautiful. Just tighten all that down. And there you go. And then you can install your aerial. Okay, once you're done, you can start removing all this tape. So you can see there, the gaps are really nice. Have a look from the side. You can see that. Sits really nicely. And that's your aerial mount.